Okay, so we're looking at the Garmin 770 Truck GPS. As you can see, it's quite big. Uh, we're going to be looking at the camera here. Camera icon is simulated by this one here. Um, I tried to call Garmin and get the pin out for this particular cable. Um, I couldn't get it off them. Um, I'll give it to you now. And that's the cable right there. So I had to pay 50 bucks for this stupid cable. Um, it's easier than, you know, trying to do it the hard way. Simply plugs in the back there, as you can see. And then on the other side you have, I think you've got about a metre, a metre and a half. Then you have your RCA, female RCA there. So I'm just going to clip that on. Now for my cradle here as well, I'm using um, a flexible shaft. Um, this one was from a GPS and it's a 19mm ball, very standard. Two minutes. Okay. So this is the plug right here, that's our GPS cradle, okay, use video monitor, okay, what I, what I like about this GPS is when I put in the cigarette lighter it comes on with the car and it goes off with the car, so I'm just going to turn it on. So it comes straight on with the car, if you can see that from there. Okay, now I plug in my uh, reversing camera, which is here. So this system right here just generates an image, which would be the reversing camera. And now it comes up here. What I'm noticing is it gives you this two lines of distance here as well. Oh, and you can even move these lines as well. So these lines are adjustable there. So whenever I put it in reverse, my camera then would receive power, which means that then the image will just pop up straight over the top of my GPS. One of the reasons I went for two separate GPSs is because whenever a call comes through, you lose your GPS if you've got a GPS in the radio. So this way, I always know where I'm going, even if I'm on the phone and the phone's ringing constantly, I can see exactly what's going on. So I can confirm now that this cable does work. Um, I'm sending video image to my GPS and it's activating it, which is good. Now let's go for the pinout on this. Turn that off. I've got my multimeter here. Let's just put this on buzz. Okay, that's a buzz function now. Now we can identify what's what on this cable. Okay, so here is my cable. Okay, so I'm going to go for the outer one, first of all. Oh, here it is here. So the outer one I'm going for, if you can see that. Just dropped it again. That's the outer one there. Okay, and which pin is it? Okay, so it's the second. This is a four pole, 3.5 mil plug. You've got one, two, three, and four. I'm finding the outer one on the second. Okay, now I'm gonna test for the inner one. Okay, I'm finding the inner one on um, the third. So if you're holding it from the plug, this is the tip. This is one, two, three, and four. I'm finding the inner one on this second last one or the one next to the tip. So the tip and the base are not used. It's the two in the middle. So that's the pin out on this particular cable. Uh, it says, of course, made in China. But now you can uh, make your own ones. And that's it.